Hello and welcome from the St Jakob Park, the home of FC Basel, Norway against Romania. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here, it really is. The opening page of this season's story, we can only guess what the scriptwriters have in store. Quick look at the lineups. we go then and let's put a stop to that Grigore torture gets his foot in there balls loose who's getting there He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Now the pass. In comes the cross. It's a loose ball. Ball's gone out of play. Played into the middle. Kirikesh gets it away. Going for goal! He's missed, but not by that far. Gets up to head it! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Looking to shoot! Torture. Forward it goes. Pumps it upfield. Passes it through. Aim forward. Good defending there. They've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Grigore. Torture. Still goalless at the moment. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Grigore. Torture. Looks to slip it through. Looking to hit the front line. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Very nearly half an hour gone here. Tries a through ball. Cut out in the nick of time. Tried to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Knocks it towards the front. Shoots! Spoon forward. Torture. It's 
So nil nil still, but both sides have had their moments. It's a long forward pass. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Torture. That's a throw. Aimed long and direct. And he's made certain that won't get through. And the first... Here we go again, then. Tight old game so far. Can that change now? Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Fence has got rid of that. Surely, big chance, really well taken goal, the second half off to a spectacular start. Oh, beautifully dispatched, there was no reaching that. Well, for me, you can't fault the keeper there, the effort went in at the widest possible point off the upright, nothing he could do. Norway get themselves into the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worked a treat. Coaxed out to the wing. Omar El Abdelawi tries a long pass towards the front. Lifting it over. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Ah, oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper, and what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Henriksen needed to come up with a better ball. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. It's a promising run he's making on the right. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Torture. Good defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. Romania look as though they're about to make a change. Tries to get it forward quickly. And the defence can get it clear. Pumps it forwards. Torture. It's a clever pass. Romania have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible. Romania have a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Torja! Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Who's going to make this theirs? Spoon forward. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with... Kirikesh has got himself a free kick. <laughs> That's
that's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Omar al Abdullawi, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. And in it goes! Two up and threatening to pull clear! And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, no, you've got him, no, you don't. Brilliant. Norway take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Well, to step in there, that was more than necessary. King looks like a good ball through. It's come loose. Oh, he's broken through. Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. And that is one very relieved man between the sticks. There was no way he was going to get to that, and he knows it. Oh, he really wanted that. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. Kirikesh tries to get it forward quickly. Thrust towards the front line. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Cuts it out. And that is that. Well, that's the way to...